Hey there, welcome to day 330 of our Get Your Goals Annual Challenge. Sharon Hornell here. And our task today, our action item today, is going to be to chunk our goal. We've selected a goal. Our goal process, step three, is to break our goal down into steps, or what I call chunking. Taking a big project, a big goal, a big anything, and breaking it down into bite-sized pieces. It's like the whole saying goes, how do you eat an elephant one step at a time? How do you accomplish anything big in your life, including our goals and objectives? It's by breaking them down into smaller pieces that we can achieve along the way to achieving our big dream, our big goal. So how do we go about doing that? We just start brainstorming what is it going to take to get us from where we are to where we want to be. We've outlined our SMART goal yesterday, so we know it's now specific, measurable, achievable, relevant. We know it's achievable and relevant for us, and we know it's time-bound. So I really want to think about, well, what can I get done by the end of this year? <clears throat> for and I, for my goal, I'm setting up a nonprofit for the blind. So what do I need to do that in order to do that? Now, by breaking it down into steps, I realize that having everything in place by the end of the year is not necessarily going to happen. So what do I need to do and what can I accomplish by that time? By breaking my goal down into steps, I can figure out what needs to be done and then I can prioritize it, put it in what order. Because a lot of times to get from A to B, to get from C to D, I like to call it our current to our desired state, there's a lot of things that have to happen, right? Sometimes we have to change our mind about something. Sometimes we have to change our identity and how we see ourselves to make sure that we're the person that's capable of achieving the goal and job objective we want. That might be one of your steps. So I brainstormed <clears throat> eight steps. And I'm just going to share those briefly to show how I can take a bigger goal and how you can as well and chunk it down into bite-sized pieces. And each one of these things require a bunch of activities and a bunch of action items that have to happen, a bunch of things that have to be done to achieve each of these eight steps. So let me just share these. Let me grab a magnifying glass so I can kind of see what I'm doing. I've got pulled up on my computer too. Number one, to research and plan. I have to identify the need. Is there a need for another nonprofit for the blind? There's already some out there. So <clears throat> is there a specific niche or need or uh, thing that I can provide in the, a blind nonprofit that other people are not already providing? How can I differentiate myself and our nonprofit? Number two, uh, this is still number one. Um, we need to think about the legal requirements and we need to map out the, our mission and our vision for this particular goal. Uh, secondly, I'm going to develop a business plan. And by business plan, a nonprofit, just like a for-profit organization, needs to actually make a profit so that we can help people, right? So we need to get resources so that we can help people that are blind in this instance to do whatever it is that we're specifically working toward helping them do. So we're going to develop a business plan, meaning we're going to have uh, we're going to figure out programs and services. What are we going to do? What are we going to provide? We're going to have a budget and funding, and we're going to organize and come up with our organizational structure. What kind of a structure do we need to support the organization? Uh, third chunk, legal and administrative setup. We need to set up uh, and register as a nonprofit and obtain a uh, tax exempt status. Those are just, that's a pretty quick step. So we'll definitely have that one done by the end of the year. We'll have the first three done by the end of the year as I'm looking at the list. Uh, build partnerships and network. So we want to collaborate with other stake with our stakeholders, right? We want to collaborate with the people that we're here to help and provide services to. We want to recruit volunteers and staff. Uh, step five: fundraising and financial management. We need to uh, launch some kind of a fundraising program or campaign. Or are we going to sell products and services to raise funds for? How are we going to raise funds for the organization. Uh, what else have I got here? I've got a few other things, financial management and campaigns. Six, uh, create and implement programs, develop programs, evaluate and adapt as necessary. Seven, public awareness and outreach, uh, marketing and outreach, advocacy and education. How are we going to educate people on what it is we're doing and how we're helping people to enlist their help and aid in any way that we need or want it. And then finally, uh, continuous growth and sustainability. We have to have strategic planning that happens on a continuous basis so that we don't just set up a nonprofit, we raise some money, we do some things, and then it dies because we didn't set up uh, some kind of a continue. I, I'm thinking continuity, to be honest, right off the top of my head. We want to come up with some kind of continuity and engagement 
to in community involvement to make sure that the the organization continues in perpetuity and creates a legacy of helping people that are blind. So that's just a, a very hodgepodgey stab at my chunks that I need to work on. What are yours going to be? If you can come up with three to five big steps, that's awesome. So do that. That's our action item for today. Any questions about this, hit me up. <coughs> you can see a write-up, of course, in Guide 17 a little later today. I will post that there uh, if that's helpful to you. <coughs> Excuse me, got a little bug. Woke up to snow today. Have a great day, and I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow.